Well, hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to a Thursday night open TTD for my Series 10 Let's Play. Hello, chat. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? I, think, I hope you're well. I, I am. I'm quite well, thank you very much indeed. Um, so, uh, if you are not watching live, or you are are watching live or want to go make yourself a cup of tea or something uh then you uh will need to look at this time but this time of here that's when we're going to start with the open ttd so uh you know go get some snacks or or not or or maybe uh, jog on the spot for five minutes why not um or fast forward if you're not watching live uh or or hang out hang out and uh, just sit here and uh chill out uh, we are doing season 10 uh, season 10, um, I, well, I forgot to do the pop-up, but we'll get that in a second. Uh, there's the pop-up. There you are. Season 10. Play along. Uh, you can go to mastalish.net forward slash season 10. I might have put that in the chat twice. Um, oh, it came up on the screen twice. Brilliant. <laughs> I don't know if it was me or a moderator or what, but it's there. Let's get rolling, Tinman. Yes, indeed. Um... Brandon's making some butter chicken. Brandon's gone on to, on some sort of making spree. Like over the last few months, you've just seemed to be making food. Uh, and do five star jumps every time. Hellish says fantastic. Oh, you know I've got a new one. Uh, is the camera a bit laggy? No, it's not. We have got a new one, folks. Right. Uh, I don't know if I'm. I'm going to try and keep this off screen. There we go. Right. There's a new thing we can do with hellish points, but I haven't put it in the official store yet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to add it as a one-off item. Okay, so, and I'm, we're just gonna have to keep adding it as a one-off item until I can officially put it into the store. But um, for 50 hellish points, there is a new thing in there, so check that out. Also, whilst you're over there on uh, portal.masterhellish.net, you can go and check out the giveaways. Now, we're going to have to decide how many giveaways we're going to do for tonight. So, uh, there's either one giveaway, two giveaways, one giveaway, two, or what? There we go. Chegzo Kid. <laughs> Train whistle. Let's see uh, how the microphone goes with this, eh? There we go. Train whistle. Isn't that cool? I like it. Uh, and we'll spin the wheel. We'll spin the wheel um, to find out how many giveaways we're going to be doing this live stream. Brandon's like, oh, wow. Jack White says, I had one like that as a kid. Yeah, but isn't it great that like chat can just make me do it at any point? There we go. One giveaway... One, one giveaway. Conductor hellish, indeed. Okay. So, uh, if you wish uh, for uh, a whistle, the train whistle, what we're going to try and do, if, if the moderators could do it for today, and I'll try and get it sorted for the next Open TTD stream, uh, but if the moderators could just keep one train whistle in the store that's, um, that's unpurchased, you can't hear the wheel. Interesting. I will put that down... I'm pretty sure that'll just be a, that's just a setting in OBS, isn't it? Tell you what, I'll spin the wheel and I see if I can fix it while it's spinning. Okay, so I'm gonna spin the wheel just on everybody that's in not a re-roll. We're not doing a re-roll. You have to spend things like hellish points for a re-roll, don't you? Um We'll spin we'll spin it on the chatters just just as a yeah, maybe the winner gets like 10 hellish points or something. So let's spin this. Did that fix it? I feel like that fixed it. No. I 
I wonder if there's some sort of issue. Oh, hang on a second. There's no desktop audio. Streamlabs have done that has done that thing where it forgets the audio device. It's not the wheel. It's just stuff. Watch, I'll do it again. There you go. See? We fixed it. A creeper is more loud, indeed. Uh, Streamlabs. Nope, don't use Streamlabs. Haven't used Streamlabs in a long time. Uh, oh, and the wheel actually landed on Chegso Kid as well, who purchased the train whistle. Um, okay, yes. It was, uh, it was OBS just forgetting the sound device that we use. It happens sometimes. Am I still frame rate on the camera? Tell you what, we'll reset that anyway, because if I am... There we go. Oh, I think that's better. It, ah, yeah. Um, we're all good. All good. So, sound's fixed. Uh, we know we're doing one giveaway. Let's start that giveaway now. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a giveaway for uh, Meow Express. And remember that in addition to that, there are six monthly giveaways going on at the moment. One for NIMBY Rails as the monthly giveaway. £10 Steam Voucher to celebrate 10 years of content. Little Orphans because I accidentally added another monthly giveaway. And three lots of £25 Steam Voucher giveaways to celebrate uh, hitting um, 75 people on the Viewer Plus counter there. So isn't that fantastic, eh? Now we need to get back up to 75. So uh, if you have a little bit of spare cash lying around and you want to support me in fact now is a pretty good time to do it because there's a 30 percent off deal going on it's uh using the code not september so there we go uh let's see how many people are actually in those you know what only 39 people have entered the steam voucher giveaways oh interesting Just starting. We're just starting. We are. We've just uh, decided how many giveaways we're doing. We've done a bit of an introduction. We've got a, a new thing to purchase in the point store, the train whistle, which anybody can purchase at any time. Uh, Hellish, you are giving away a free game. Well, there we go. Why not? <laughs> Maybe it didn't used to be free, but now it's free or something. Oh, well, never mind. Um... So yes, there we go. We we are roaring away with uh, with things. So like I said, counters finish. So we're going to head over into uh, Open TTD. There we go. Uh, there's plenty of giveaways going on at the moment. So last time we did Carbon Wiz, the Carbon Wiz zone with all of these trucks and stuff, shifting all of these supplies. Uh, I don't think we had enough trucks. We need more trucks. We will do more trucks. Let's go into building mode, and also let, let's hide the signs temporarily. There we go, how's that? It's much better. Mr. Steed, evening, welcome to the stream. Um, what are we doing? I've, I've lost track. Oh wait, there's the track. Okay, so we laid the track, and it's, it's helping us create tyres. Yeah. Yeah. It's the thought that counts, apparently. Oh, dear. Yeah. C-A-W. Carbon. Maybe. that You could have that if you want, Brandon. You could have that if you want. What we're going to do is we're going to see if we can make the most of our existing network. So, this is our station list. We're going to sort by total weight in cargo. We're going to ignore... Passengers and mail. We're going to ignore engineering supplies. Right, what we got? What's the situation? So, the thing that we've got the most of is carbon steel. And these trucks are really struggling. 
Core because Bird. Oh, and also W Bond Wizard Brandon W B. You got W B in there. Wizard Brandon, aren't you? Yeah, you see. Um. Yeah, that needs fixing. We need to do something about that. I'm not sure what we can do about that. Uh, maybe another way in? This main road is what's blocking things up. Right. What we're going to do... Use a train. No, we're not going to use a train. We're going to try and fix the existing road network. This is a... a this is the longest series. Any idea how long it will last? I'm pretty sure we did a series that was 100 episodes. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have a quick look at my previous Open TTD series. And we're going to find out how many videos was in each one. So, uh, And I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. So if I go to my content screen, I go to my playlists. Filter by Open TTD and allow up to 50 per page and then we full screen that and uh, make it a bit bigger for you so you guys can see there we go let's show you this so here we go folks you can see open ttd series 10 let's play we're up to 46 videos on that one series 9 was 22 series 8 14 7 14 series 6 was 102 videos Series 5 was uh, 60. Series 4 was 50. Um, the view We're up to 103 viewers game videos. Um, series 3, 46. Series 2, 51. Series 1 was actually only 32 videos. And the tutorial is 36 videos long. So there are plenty of videos of OpenTTD. And there are two uh, playlists over 100 videos in length. And there are, eh, I mean, season 10 is going to have more than 50. Uh, season 6 had more than 50. 4 had more than 50. Mm, season 3 nearly had more than 50. And season 2 did have more than 50. So there's quite a few. Would you do an update on the tutorials? I have a list to do, a to-do list for the tutorial series. Um... There's not a massive amount to update, but if you think there's something I should, um, if you think there's something I should update, then come over to the Discord, put it something in there, and if it's something that I feel I should update, I'll add it to the to-do list. Bear in mind, I've got a few things to put on there, but there's not a much. Um, hello, I'm a new sub. Hello, my new sub, Mindu. Welcome to the stream. Um, Fantastic. Yes. What's this? Train whistle. New sub. There we go. Train whistle indeed. Uh, okay. Let's get, let's get back to the gameplay. That's either going to get very tedious very quickly or it's going to stay fantastic forever. Right. So I had an idea about this road network. Okay. This section at the back is hardly being used. And this section at the front is completely um, filled up. Right. So if we get rid of these two at the back here, yeah, change the arrows to go inwards and and um, and out there like that, we can have a second entry point. Okay, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work, but I'll figure it out. So instead of coming off here. They can have another way round. Now, how can we encourage them? Oh, well, I suppose that comes out round that way. So maybe if we go from here, there's a road vehicle in the way. Of course there's a road vehicle in the way. There's always a road vehicle in the way. Let's, yeah, and we'll do the same here. We'll come up to there. Get rid of all the one way, says Brandon. You know what, Brandon? You, you might be right. Just like... Put four different... Well, not even four. Anyway, we're going to try and do it. We're going to try and do it without getting rid of the one ways. We're going to try and give them this extra option here. So, not compact. I hate it. Well, no, no, I don't mind. it. Compact doesn't matter. It's not important, eh? 
Oh my goodness, look at all this. There, I suppose entering both sides of the station could be an advantage. Oh, I can't put this piece of road in. I suppose, oh, oh, oh there's going to be a gap, there's going to be a gap, there's going to be a gap. No! There was a blockage. Car, uh, vehicles not overtaking each other is quite a big issue. We have some vehicles going the other way. Look, that side's completely cleared up now. See, the the problem, the problem is not the trucks queuing up at the stops. The problem is the main road being too busy and these junctions being too slow. And this bit just absolutely crawling from broken down vehicles. Maybe the vehicle maintenance needs changing so they don't break down so much. You know what? I bet that's part of the problem. Uh, I'm, I can't remember exactly where it might be. Vehicles, routing, physics. Maybe it's in... Um, Probably in vehicles, right? No, okay. I can't remember what it might be called. Uh, Rafa says, it might be a preference, but my stations in furs especially have a very small footprint. I mean, I don't, I don't see the advantage of a small footprint. Can you make a dual uh, lane? Uh, maybe, Joe. I'm not sure it'd work very well in this particular scenario. We'd have to have a look. Glassy Press, welcome. Welcome. Okay, uh, it's not interface, surely. Uh, break, break, is it uh, auto renew? It's in disasters. Why is it in dis Oh, because it's breakdowns and th maybe that counts. There we go. Disaster slash accidents. No, that's not what I was looking for above the line. I'm not looking for breakdowns. I'm looking for servicing. Um, I'm looking... Is it S-U-R? No. Default service interval. Right? Default, default service interval, right? Service, it's service interval, isn't it? Here we go. It's in company. It's in company. Default service interval for road vehicles. Nope. 35 days slash percent. I think we're using percent. Are we using percent? Yes. Okay, so we're using 35% down. Let's change that to 30%. Hey, let's go crazy. 25%. Flex, hi, welcome. Right, so we've changed that service interval. That will allow more vehicles. Oh, hang on, I think I'm going to be able to put the junction in. There we go. Right, so we've put, uh, we've done it so that the vehicles can access via either direction. I'm going to keep the tunnels. I think the tunnels are completely unnecessary. The exits are still going to be quite busy because there's only three points that they can exit. But overall, look, this whole area that was clogged up, not very clogged up now, is it, eh? That's definitely made a big improvement. Now, by changing the service interval, we're going to have a load more vehicles that are going to the depot and stuff. So the actual delivered amounts might go down a little bit for a while. But we'll see how that goes. The tunnels are cool. Yeah, I kind of like the tunnels. It also makes the run into the stations a little bit longer, but for queuing, oh my goodness. We've got that we've got that plane crash thing where it goes off the end of the map. I can't remember the scenario in which that happens. Anyway, let's crack on. So, we have uh is that coal? Yes, we have a lot of coal. Okay. Let's clone those vehicles. Let's get another fleet out on the job to deal with that coal. And a fleet over there to deal with that coal. 
and a fleet over here to deal with... Oh, right, too many vehicles in the game. Well, we're going to have to change that setting as well. Um, it's in limitations, I remember that. Limitations, maximum number of vehicles. We had to change the trains uh, a couple of episodes ago. There we go. Boom. Uh, Brandon says it's a weird error. I don't think it's an error. I think it's a artifact of... I think... Is it where it can't land back at an airport? So it just flies off the edge of the map? Anyway. Uh, so we've still got a lot of carbon steel. We've still got a lot of, a lot of acid. Looks like most of the vehicles are all going the new way. Hmm. Yeah, nearly every single vehicle is going the new way. None of them are going the old way. Maybe we need to rethink that then. Although, again, generally things are still flowing. Maybe it needs to be even better. Right, what we've got going on over here. We have an iron ore mine, and look at that. We have quite a lot of limestone waiting. Is that what was popping up? Yes, uh, limestone. And it's all gone now. Tar total waiting cargo. To available station... Yeah, we are, we are sorted by total waiting cargo. Okay, so there's not a massive amount of stations that have large amounts of stuff waiting. Uh, this one has food, but we've got um, we've got a deadlock. This I shouldn't have this loop back in here. Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We do it. I know what we do. Um, we make a a bypass. For the problem. Oh, now everything's going to happen. Delete the exit arrows at the exit if you go under the tunnel. Delete the exit arrows. That's supposed to be an entrance. There's supposed to be two entrances here. See again though, look, it's empty. It's it's clogging up. They're all breaking down along this road. But like I said, we've changed the service interval now. So I think that situation will improve. We've got 1.3 billion in the bank account. Uh what's over here? What have we got a lot of? Is it that's iron ore? That's 400 tons of light. It says iron ore, is it? Yeah, this situation is going to slowly improve. When that train moves, I'm going to get... Here it goes. I'll get rid of that. Shouldn't really have those loopbacks in, okay? The way that you prevent trains from missing the station and trying to loop back is by having your depots from the exit um, more than 16... I think it's 16 tiles away. So that's one... We'll call that four, nine, mm. oh, okay, so there's an airport in the way there, so we can just put the depot over here. There you go. Remove the forbidden better track, get rid of these two depots, and that solves the problem. Okay, so now a train that is heading uh, towards this station will not see the depot on the other side of the station because it's too far away and it will probably just you know go to the station, I think. Wizard Brandon says, uh, I can't find any results on Google about planes flying off the edge. I, it's, a known, it's a known disaster, yeah. Why are there so many road vehicles? Because, and this is an important thing to remember, right? My style of gameplay. I don't always just do the simple or the easiest or the most efficient way of doing something. Sometimes I'll do something because I think it's fun. 
or because I think it could be interesting, or different, or a challenge, or an investigation. I play around with the game. I frolic. I I do daft things. I I I enjoy and see how it goes. And sometimes it works really well. Sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes we learn stuff along the way. And that's always good fun. And that's my style of gameplay. And that's why you won't. I mean, when, this is one of the reasons that when I play Factorio, I am immediately and purposefully ignore all advice about the perfect grid or the perfect setup. Nah, I'm not having any of that. Um, here we go. Uh, also, can't. Uh, oh right, what? I'm not sure what you guys are talking about. Uh, working out in the in the chat, but I've just noticed. Look at this. We actually have sixty tons of vehicles that need to be shifted, and I've got a funny feeling it's because we're now starting to shift tires. Uh, yeah. There's only two trains there loading now. This could be a bit of a turnaround now. Although I don't know if we've had any deliveries down this line yet. Uh, can I keep these? There we go. Hmm. I think some of these trains have already been. Yeah, I'm not sure. They're certainly going to sometime soon with all these road vehicles we've got going on. Uh, oh, look at that. We're starting to get the tar racking up. Anyway, uh, let's get a couple more trains at vehicles out, just to make sure we don't run out of trains there. Uh, what we got over here um, filling up? Vehicle parts. Okay, so this is part of the growth that's going on. Uh, we need more trains delivering vehicle parts. Okay, there we go. Um... Let's let's um, let's keep moving. Let's keep the dates going forward. Planes crash off the map. Yes, they they do, and I don't know why. It's something to do with like them not being able to land or not being able to find somewhere. Some of these coal mines, we'd still need more vehicles, but then I don't know if they're catching back up or not. Uh, still got quite a lot of limestone over here. How's this network doing? I mean, we're not doing great down here. Well, actually, we're not doing terrible. There's a few bays available. Trucks are still flowing. It's it's working. It is. It does appear to be working. Okay. We're going to uh, clone a few lime, limestone trucks. Send them on their way. What we got over here? Oh, we've got lots of coal. We've got some zinc. Ah, now. So we've got some zinc wanting to be shifted over here do we need more trains on this uh, on this feedback section so this section is a feedback loop it goes backwards and forwards uh, between itself and I think maybe we do maybe we do okay yeah look there's no trains sat loading oh, are these ones not on full load let's have a look Uh no. They're not on full load. They just pick up whatever's there, which is kind of fine. Um let's get another batch of trains on that line though. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this this is <laughs> Attila the Hub uh has crashed. Uh we definitely need to improve things. What about if we just completely rebuild this? I don't think the road vehicles can carry, handle the throughput. I mean, ah, what if... What if we did a separate line for acid as to for carbon steel? It's like a separate road line. Um, but had them next to each other in some fashion or form. So, like, just split the traffic because we don't need them all going down the same. Let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, we don't need them going all down the same road. Although down here it could be a little bit difficult. Uh, 
How's it going? It's going all right. Um, Wizard Brandon says, so it's a throughput issue. I think the main issue is some of these junctions around here. Um, and I think if we have acid on one road and we had carbon steel on another road, we'd be all right. Brandon said, I'm not sure more lanes would solve the problem. It would half the amount of traffic. It would halve the traffic. I don't know why I bombed that. There we go. So we've got two lanes down there. Let's connect that up for now. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a real brain teaser. A real brain teaser. Should we do it? Alternative transport. Tell you what. Tell you what. We'll have a vote on it. Okay? We will have a vote on it. I'll get a vote up. How to fix. Better roads. Little trains. Chips. Um, I can't think of another way to fix it. There we go. Anyway, uh, the the vote is up. The vote is up, so you can go to portal.masterhellish.net to vote. You can also enter the giveaway uh, while you're there. I can see seven people have already entered the giveaway. And there's, of course, the monthly giveaways, which you can go and enter as well. Right, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. I like the idea of splitting this out. So there's a carbon steel road network, and then right next to it, there's an acid road network. And we'd have to get them to go over each other and round each other. Fantastic. Um, but I think we can do it. Train whistle. There we go. We're, we're off. We're going to get a train whistle and we're going to sort it all out. J Rich. Hey, J Rich. Um, oh my goodness. Right. Things have gone a bit crazy over here. There's even more limestone, which means. I think, actually, come to think of it, I think the limestone problem is because the limestone trains just can't get in. So we've got two separate lines going here and two separate lines coming back and they cross over. Why? Why, Elish, would you make them cross over like that? That is ridiculous. I mean, oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, they cross over here. Oh, no, they have to cross over. Um, uh, I don't know. Right, we can improve this by having dedicated lines and... All we want is this bit to connect to, to that bit. There we go. Do you plan on upgrading your trains with a new locomotive? Um, hmm. Do I plan on upgrading my trains with a locomotive? I will do at some point. I will upgrade the trains. In fact, we'll have a look at it sometime soon. We'll have a look at that sometime soon. Uh, I don't know how we're going to fix this yet. Actually, I think I've just figured out a way to fix it. Also, these loopbacks. We don't need these loopbacks. Okay. Right. First thing we're going to do, remove the loopbacks. Okay. Let's remove those loopbacks. Do not need them. Next up, we're going to...
put a wiggle in this line at least one train length back here. A little bit further back here. There we go. And we'll signal that all the way down. We'll take that out. Now, there's a bunch of trains here waiting. So the problem here isn't that we need more limestone trains. The problem is, is that the other trains, the iron ore trains, are blocking the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell these ones, a couple of them, to skip their next order and just go ahead. And as they move forward, we'll fix things around. Oh my goodness, Fireball. Oh no, it's happened at Wizzy's Slag. Hang on a minute. Did we, re did we name this area after you, Brandon? You're on here twice. You're not supposed to be allowed on here twice, are you? Let's have a look. Sign list. Yeah, look. Carbon Wiz, Wizard Brandon. Wizzy's Slag. You're on here twice. I forgot about Wizzy's Slag. Anyway. Um, we, we need a, a replacement aircraft. There we go. Let's go back to where we were. He's on here. T yeah, he's on. He's on twice. He's on too many times. Yeah, the office doesn't count, Jexo kid. He he paid hellish points for that office. He did. He paid hellish points for it. Okay, so these trains are going to move forward. Um, I won't be able to do a switch just yet. Action. That that train can just wait there. This train needs to get out, so I'm going to remove a piece of track here. New donation! Fantastic! Just Danny, thank you very much for the donation. Getting some hellish points there as well as uh, supporting the channel. Thank you very much. Support is appreciated. Uh, uh, oh my goodness, I need to think. Ah, uh, no, go away, no. Yes, I think that that will do it. Oh, I did that wrong. That won't do it. That that'll do it. There we go. And we should we shouldn't have a crash as well. There we go. Right. So now the trains are going into their dedicated platforms. Now, we don't really need the waypoints anymore, but. Pfft, We'll have them anyway. Uh, there's a bit of land deformation. Is it deformation? Deformation? I am not sure. Anyway, that will have fixed that. Let's get rid of the forbidden, the, the forbidden piece of track. Keep open TTD alive, they donated. Well, thank you very much. Um, also, you know, we should also make note that, you know, I don't develop or host any of the service for open TTD. So if you um, if you want to support them as well as me, uh, you, you can do. There's, um, there is a way to support that. I mean, I'm not exactly sure where that is, and I'm not going to pretend to know where the link is for it, but... There's one somewhere. Right, come on. Out of the way. Right, there we go. So there we go. We don't need the loop back anymore. And we've got dedicated lines. They're gonna that's gonna be brilliant. That's gonna be fantastic. Food up here. Wow. Uh we got short trains. Wow, this is an old line. This is a very old line. Okay. Let's uh, let's clone this train. Let's do it twice. Let's expand the number of uh, uh, carriages that are on it. Get rid of the old one. And then we'll clone it again. And we'll send both of them on their way. What's the ratings here? 71%. Not the best. Not the best. Hey, oh, look. Brandon found the link. 
yeah, I'm not a developer, but um, a part of the Open TTD community, aren't I? So there we go. Uh, Glassy Press says, I actually started playing Open TTD less than a week ago. Ah, well, uh, if it's been a week, you're now an expert. That's how it works. Love seeing limestone popping up in the end station. I do too. It's a nice little mod, isn't it? What is the building noted as Goningville L? Oh, that. Uh, I don't know if I can find. Oh, my goodness. Hang on a second. Everything's going wrong. Um, it's a waypoint. I'm sure it was a waypoint, and that's what you're talking about. Oh, you found a bug report for the glitch, but it's closed. Did they say it's not a bug? Anyway, uh, look, tires out. 440 tons of tires. Uh, thank you. These trains, I think, are probably starting to deliver. It may be. Yes, they are. Uh, we need more. Tr we need more tire trains. Tires was the one thing that we were really struggling with. Um, to get vehicles. And you can see that now, at Vehicles Out, we're getting tons and tons of vehicles. And I think the production has just really kick-started because now, these all, th all four of these will be supplied when these tyres come in. Yeah. You just started uh, Season 10. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. Um, if you catch up in the series, maybe we can have a look at your game sometime. Um, if you make money, you're an expert. I'm not sure it goes that far, but yeah, it's um, it's relatively easy to make money in Open TTD, isn't it? I'm I'm pretty sure. But if you want to play along with this series, uh, go to um, masterhellish.net forward slash s10. Right. So all that stuff we were doing uh, a couple of episodes ago, or I think it might have been last last live stream has really started the production at Tires Out to just kick up a, a notch now. Um, and it's all been transported lovely. Uh, right, let's let's close that vote. Let's end the vote. Fantastic. And the viewers have said, use ships. <sighs> what is it with you lot and ships? Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. It's it's not a bug, it's a feature. Yeah. Oh, I need a drink. Why am I you Why do I let you lot decide these things, eh? I should have let the wheel decide. Oh dear. Joe's like, don't look at me. I voted for trains. <laughs> okay, we're going to get vehicles off these roads. Um, looks like nearly all of them are heading south. Let's do that. Let's get... Let's, let's try and clear a bit of space for this then. Oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? With, uh, with all these... Oh, I could just actually just send all the ro road vehicles away. Let's do that. Carbon steel, not trains. Road vehicles. Uh, every single road vehicle, go away. Now, after we've done this, we'll look to see if there's a new train and if we want to update the trains and stuff. Every single road vehicle, go away. There we go. <laughs> Branner's like, it's not just me. Seven other people voted for it. Yeah. Send all the road vehicles to the Phantom Zone. I, I am not going to just get them to go in a random place. Um, they are all going to go to the depots now, though, which which will do the job. Uh, we're not interested in the bait. Well, look, more vehicles are being shifted through here now. Let's get another couple of trains going. Okay, so we're going to sort out this acid and carbon steel. We need more road vehicles here as well. There we go. We need more road vehicles over here. My phone just did something. I don't know what it was. 
Anyway, uh, there we go. Fantastic. Uh, tires. Coke, Coke out is actually struggling slightly. Tires out is fine at the moment. Right, okay. Looks like most of the road vehicles are gone. We're just waiting for the last ones to come in. Again, we'll just go manage list, center depot. Ooh, some of them can't reach a depot? Maybe it's because they need to turn around and go back? That's a bit weird. I think they're all on the way to the depot. Let's start get. Look at all that acid. Okay, let's start removing some of this. You lot said ships. Yeah, get in some ships. How do you solve a throughput problem? Ships. Um... Yeah, all your throughput issues can be solved uh, solved with ships. There we go. Uh, I I often say like each vehicle type has their place in Open TTD, and the place for ships is small or medium distance with insane amounts of throughput. How are we going to get over those railway lines? I have no idea. But I'm going to give it a try. Alright, clearing up the road tiles. Going to take this relatively easy. I thought there was a road depot down there, but there there isn't apparently. Okay. Okay, next up we'll get rid of all of these vehicles. Oof. Wow, that was half a million pounds worth of second hand vehicles. That was also half a million pound of second hand vehicles. That that wasn't. There we go. Yeah. When are the viewers games? Uh, viewers games are scheduled when I have room in my schedule to schedule them. Um, we need a horn or a whistle now. Oh no, no, it's we've got a baby sleeping like literally right above me, right at the moment. Um, above me in my in the hellish cave is is my bedroom, and he's sleeping in there. Um, until he's like a bit older, then he won't sleep in there. Um, but yes, if you want a viewers game, I will do a viewers game. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to do a viewers game next, but um, there will almost certainly be open TTD games at the uh, festive charity live stream in December. Okay. Right then, uh, what we're going to do next? What are we going to do? All right, we need uh, a, a a bit of water down the middle of this, so uh, let's do a waterway. Let's allow that water to flow into the waterway. There we go. And if we remove, um, let's remove some of this. There we go. And then we can put our, not an airport, put our dock in here. Connect, can we, what local authority refused to allow it? They hate me. Oh, there's so many trains around it. Oh, another road vehicle broke down on the road. City road vehicle. Uh, right, yeah, they, they hate me. Um, how much do they hate me? They think I'm appalling? Appalling isn't that bad. 
Is it? There's way too many trees around here. Let's try and plant some trees. Tree plants. Yeah, I, I, I can't make it any better than appalling. Uh, we're going to have to try and bribe them. Wow, got found out. Oh, that's not great. Guess we're going this way next. <laughs> okay, so somehow... We've got to get across this situation. And we don't have boat tunnels. So somehow the railway line's got to go over. Okay, let's delete the railway line. Okay, so somehow the railway line's got to go over. I mean, we could just put a little wiggle in. Like this. There's nothing wrong with a little little wiggle. Yeah, and then we can just expand this out slightly. There we go. Just a little bit of local rejigging. There we go. Um, Saber Psycho's here. Hey, welcome. Leon says, oh, It's been a while since I've actually been on stream. I've been learning to understand what the stream is about by reading the Discord chat messages and found this one interesting. <laughs> that's, a, that's the second time somebody has been in the Discord looked at the chat and was like, oh, I'll go and check this stream out. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. That's good, that. Um, yeah, I'm not so happy that uh, I got found out by a regional investigator, though. I, I don't like that. So somehow we've got to get our boats really close over here. We might have to go up. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, the local... I bet this local authority hate me as well. Yeah, they think I'm appalling. Oh, this is not good. This is not... Uh, you know what? I just realised that we're dropping off the acid by boat. And then again, we need to distribute it in different directions. So, yeah, we'll leave it like this. Uh, yeah, this, this is not good. This is, this is not good. We've been found out by regional investigators. Um, what's our ratings over here? Oh, they're, apparently they're excellent, though. They were excellent, but now we're not getting any stuff there. Plant trees in canal. I don't know if we can do that. Tell you what we can do, because we've got like such a large open area here. If we just like demolish all of these trees. They can't really hate me any more than they already do, right? There we go. So they must, like, really, really, really hate me now. There we are. Appalling. But now if I plant trees... They think I'm good. I wonder whether that's a bit of an exploit in the game that we shouldn't really have had... Uh, I don't know about the spread here. Let's have a look. That is not going to quite reach, but we'll do. We'll put something there. Hellish declares war on grass. Do you have any city where you have other local authorities rating than appalling? Do you have a city where you have other local authority ratings? Other local, um. 
I mean, there's this city. They think I'm outstanding. Yes, it's because of the minimum cap. It is because of the minimum cap. We can do the same thing over here. So they, th although I got found out by an investigator, so I don't know if this will work, um, but we can go in here. As long as we don't delete our railway. We can come in and all the airport. Not quite sure how far their influence goes. But um, I think this might do it. Ooh. Okay, so they're going to think I'm appalling. Now we can tree the whole area. Now they think I'm good. Fantastic. Oh dear. Yeah, British man bombs all village trees to plant more trees. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Uh, and, and to be honest, I'm more demonstrating it than anything else. Oh my goodness, vehicles are piling up. We need more trains. Look, production's gone crazy. All of them are supplied, so now there's an actual bonus on vehicle production. Um... Yeah, it's, it's all starting to go. Vehicles out is just super just exploded right now. Uh, this has almost got to the end. Uh, yeah, we've got lots of little trees now. Uh, there they are, look. Maybe they were like old evil trees and now we've got non-evil trees and they're thankful for it. Or something. Um... Okay, we will do a small spread station here. What? They refuse to allow it. What? Why? Oh, they think I'm appalling again. Is it because I just dug more hillside? How much does it take? Like, can I just get this entire area here and then redo it? And will that do the job? Medium. Yeah, it's it's enough. So you don't even have to go as crazy as what I was demonstrating. You can you can do it a lot less. Okay, there we go. We're gonna connect it up to the rod mill there. Now over here, uh, we're going to need to get rid of a couple of these. Let's get rid of those two. And we're gonna have the ships cross over, I suppose. Hmm. I'm not sure. This is more of a design thing than anything else. I know, I know what we'll do. We'll put one here and one there. And then this little hole, we'll put a depot. I don't like that. No little hole. Just a little dint. And we'll add depots in down here along the way. So we'll put like a little tunnel in. So that's going to be like three that way. And then, like, one on the way here and one on the way down there. Okay, let's get some boats in. So, new ships. Uh, first off, we're going to clone a ship that we've already got because we know we like that side type of ship. Then I'm going to refit that ship to acid. I'm then going to get rid of all the orders. And I'm going to say, go to acid. Then, go down here to this place. Then, go to acid. Then, go down here to this place. And that is it. Then we'll clone the ship. 
and we will change it to carbon steel. We don't even have to change the... Oh, we do have to change the orders a little bit. Get rid of acid and put in carbon steel. Get rid of acid and put in carbon steel. Then we need to clone the ships. So I'm going to hold control this time. And we're going to do... Let's do nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's ten of each and set them on their way. There we go. Um, catching up with the chat. The new tree master. There is actually a trees, trees, trees T-shirt uh, over on the uh, hellish store. So if you uh, want to check that out, you can go to store.masterhellish.net. And I'm pretty sure there's a Trees, Trees, Trees t-shirt in there. Along with the Hellish HT, which I really like. Will there ever be a Master Hellish soundtrack? It depends what you mean. And ever is a long time. Ollie, our first time live. Oh, well, welcome. You'll have to renew my your PayPal so you can support me properly. Well, I appreciate all the support I do get. Uh, yes, as far as I'm aware, the only way we can do payment is via PayPal. I was looking into other options. But they're all terrible, unfortunately. Um, is there a reason to separate the acid and carbon steel? No, nah, not really. I don't think so. There we go. I'm not. Where's that one going? I don't know. All right. So hopefully we can start shifting this stuff now. Uh, this colliery needs more coal, coal trucks. Just throw more trucks at it. It's fine. Uh, there's quite a lot of food over here. Let's have a look at the trains going here. We've got one long one and several short ones. Okay, let's let's add another long one to the list. Um, yeah, that colliery we've just sorted out. What's here? Oh, is this the glassworks? We've got tons of glass waiting. See, this is a very short back and forth line. Um... The trains are all waiting to enter. And they are all sat there. Ooh, a train went the wrong way. I think they're going into the depots and having some problems on the way back. Uh, I think we're going to need a one-way path signal there to stop them doing that. Yep, this is slowing things down. There's a problem with this design. There we are. One-way path signals will kind of fix that. The only problem is, is that the trains that are entering will go up to those path signals and then potentially block the line behind them. But what we can do is we can make those entry bays have a train in each. Oh look, carbon steel's being picked up properly now. There, are. all the carbon steel's gone. All of it. The zinc and pipe is going absolutely crazy. Let's get a few more trains doing that. The acid, not so much. Where's my acid? Oh, because all of the acid vehicles went to Panningwell Woods first. Okay. See some people entering the giveaway. Got to enter those game giveaways. Speaking of game giveaways, we're going to end the current um, live giveaway sometime very soon. So if you want to get that game code, uh, go to portal.masterhellish.net and you might win it. You might well win it. Um, what catches you out? You try and replace old trains with new ones and find they're going to the nearest depot and getting lost after. No, I think we're okay. For the most part, we're all right. What we are going to do is we're going to pause it slightly. We're going to notch the music down because this one's a loud track. We're going to have a look at the available trains and just see if we're going to need to upgrade. Here we go. So we've got one steam train, which uh, we, we won't replace. 
uh, we've got a few of these passenger diesels. Again, we, we won't replace. And then our main workhorse, the Floss um, 47. Let's compare that in comparison to what we've already got. So, the SH125 is a double-headed train, so I would completely ignore that because even though we've got wagon removal in OpenTTD, we haven't got wagon addition for going back to a single-headed uh, train. Um, and then... The, yes, the maximum reliability is just far beyond what other trains can offer right now. If we wanted to, we could look at going electric. If we went electric, we'd have a lower traction effort, but we'd have more horsepower. And the top speed's the same. I, uh, the SH40 is a bit faster, but the reliability's a lot worse. I think at the moment, we've actually got the best one to go for. Yeah. Are double-headed trains counted twice for stats? Oh, um, it's included. So that counts as one thing there. So it's... Um, traction effort is a lot higher than a standard diesel you, you compare these two diesels um, they only came out well actually they came out quite far apart but um, very far apart actually the speed of that diesel 201 kilometers per hour that is fast um, but again, it's a two it's a two headed train, and I refuse to use them in large games like this. It's just too difficult. Okay, so for now we haven't got anything on offer on that point. Sheet steel out is uh, full, apparently. Uh, where's our train icons? Yep, we're waiting for trains to leave. But that will have just shot up, though. Tires out. Busy there. Acid is now full again. But only because of our boats are all going all in one go at the minute again. I've got a funny feeling we need more. Eh, let's wait for them to come back. They're going to spread out a little. Uh, also, with double-headed trains, does that mean you can avoid making an entry-exit rail when playing with no 90-degree turns? Oh, I'm not sure I understand the question. Oh, because you because they can turn around and go back the other way, is that what you're saying? Um, there's a game setting for whether trains can just turn around on the spot, and, and that's in there. So, And it's on by default. Ooh, what's this? Scrap metal. We can't shift the scrap metal fast enough. Um, I mean, we could just add more platforms. Uh, the only thing stopping us are all these buildings over here. There we go. We're adding more platforms, folks. I, th I think we probably should have had an extra platform or two here anyway. There we go. I think we'll be all right just to throw them in. I don't think it's going to make a massive amount of difference. The throughput on this line is going to cause problems pretty soon. It's, it's not a matter of just add 
more platforms, that's just not going to fix the issue. But it will help. So I will do it. Drag and drop, please. Um, how big should we make it? We could go quite big with this. Look at that. Quite. Oh no, there's another plane crash. Uh, can I get the aeroplane? Yep, there we go. Move that over there. Wait until I finished. So, because this is a row row station, we need. Uh, oh, God. That one's going to have to be a bit wonky. Signals on the out. Wait for trains to come in. Dip, 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 do. There we go. That's that's sort of improved things. As a general rule with a station, you need at least three lanes. One for a train moving in, one for a train moving out, and one for a train loading. If you've got long 12 length trains on a station where it's going to take a while to load, you may even need two or three loading. Um, and then if the trains are slow at leaving and uh, and slow at moving in, then you may need two ways for a train to move in and two ways for a train to move out and like multiple ways for trains to load at the same time. Where did that... Oh, the aeroplane despawned. Damn. Okay, never mind. Steel, uh, sheet steel out uh, needs more trains. Okay, let's throw a few more trains at that. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. Um, there's a few things recently that have just stepped up a notch. And I think a lot of it is around this tyre section and also us sorting out this hub down here, Attila the Hub. There's no acid sat there. Did we actually have these on full load? We didn't, did we? They should be on full load. Um, that's probably why they're all still grouped together. There we go. Now, now it's all good. Uh, we've got a few here, but the vehicle, the trains are coming in quite nicely. Look at that list. That list is looking so much better, isn't it, eh? Hellish by name, hellish by nature. Not really. I was I was talking to some of the moderators when I was away for the weekend. Uh, I think it was DJ I was talking to at the time. Saying about how Master Hellish is actually terrible branding for what we do around here. It should be something like Station Master. Or the, the Station Master. Hello there, the Station Master here. And welcome to some open TTD. Welcome to transport fever. Welcome to some transportation in Minecraft. Um, but it was the um, name of my World of Warcraft character at the time. He was an undead priest. And I kept using the name for a little while longer and it stuck. Okay, uh, we've got a load of farm supplies here, but that doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. I'm not sure what these boats are shifting, but... Oh, slag. It's Wizzy's slag, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> I blame World of Warcraft. Yes! The Master Hellish branding came from my World of Warcraft character. And you know what? He wasn't even called Master Hellish. He was just called Hellish, I think. Or was he called Master Hellish? And my second character that I made was just called Hellish. I don't remember. Anyway... We're just going to stick with Master Hellish, okay? My website's Master Hellish. My logo's Master Hellish. Even this little OpenTD cam box has Master Hellish on it. I'm not changing it. Will I ever, ever, ever change it? I'm not saying I will never change it. Never's a long time. But I certainly have no intention on changing it. Okay, there are not a lot of stations with stuff just sat at it now 
the trains are really doing well, the network's doing well, we've got a good number of vehicles in good places, um, these boats are doing a good job. We probably ought to check the road vehicles as well to see if they need upgrading. I don't think they'll need upgrading. Um, so the bus would be a downgrade. The coal truck. Oh my goodness. Uh, would is that an upgrade? That's a big upgrade. That's a good upgrade. Let's do that for the coal truck. Uh, the oil tanker. Oh, I think that's the best one. The goods truck. That There's an upgrade for that one. And the ore truck. There's an upgrade for that one. There we go. Stitches, uh, I still play WoW. You know what? I, In some ways, you might be able to count, count me as still playing WoW because I've never, like, quit WoW. So, make all industries gung-ho. A lot of them. A lot of them are already gung-ho, Tinman. Yeah. Not all industries, I don't think so, but a lot of them are. I would love to play World of Warcraft again. It's just a matter of time. I have a family and a day job and fitting master hellish things around that is really really difficult it is i don't know i i don't know what the solution for that is if somebody knows the answer please do tell me because it's something i scratch my head over trying to figure out like how can i do more hellish content and like not like die <laughs> from exhaustion or neglect my family etc you know how how can i do that it's, it's got to be impossible right right we've got ships sat at both of these places that's brilliant uh Kokow is busy probably because of this depot let's should we move those depots offline Let's do that. So what is it? 12 depot. There we go. If we move the depots off the line, it's gonna it's gonna improve the output of the station. Let's remove the forbidden piece of track. Put a signal before the depot, a signal before the merge. And just tidy up this. That might improve the efficiency. <laughs> Eight days in a week. Yes, that's one way of doing it. Can't wait to see the trains get an upgrade. Yes, Joe. It's going to be good. Uh, we're going to move to electric at some point. But at the moment, it, now's not the time. The uh, reliability of the electric trains are just not good enough compared to what we've got. Um, you'll need to clone yourself for the family. Do you know about the Hellish Clones videos? I started a mini-series. Let me see what I can find. I, on my variety channel, and if you guys are not... Um, subscribe to my variety channel you should go and subscribe uh, to my variety channel because sometimes I post things on there in fact in fact I have a video dropping on Saturday on my variety channel where I take a screwdriver to a to an expensive laptop for the first time um, but if we go to the channel we go to, uh, let me see if I can show this on screen. Let me zoom in a little. Uh, screen, there we go. So this is like a vlogging slash second channel. There's uh, reviews and I started a Lego series and only ever did one episode. I'm gonna be doing uh, videos about uh, my robot that I made. 
Uh, there's there's a few shorts on here. There's a tech archive series and 3D printing. But in addition to all of that, there is a hellish clone series. And there's only two videos, but feel free. Feel free to just go and have a little Hello look. There, Master Hellish here, and welcome to today's vlog. Yep, back then, that's what I called it. I'll actually paste the link. Is that the playlist? Yep, there's the playlist. If you guys want to watch those two old videos about my clones, go ahead. I can't remember what we were doing now. Um, right, we've got some limestone building up here a little bit. Um, looks like we've got enough trains to deal with it. And they're loading fine. Shouldn't really be a problem. Maybe just a train broke down recently. Uh, again, scrap metal struggling, but... But having said that, it shouldn't be a problem. Chris Abbott, hello. It, you think it's an impressive network? It is running quite smoothly now, actually. Yeah. Been my learning Open TTD videos back in 2015. Wow. Yeah, that that was a while ago, wasn't it? Eh. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. Brandon says, "Oh, I I saw you did a live reaction on uh, my Minecraft's 2021." Minecraft. It, it, it wasn't a live reaction, I don't think. I think I just recorded a video straight afterwards. Will there be one this year? Did I not do 2022? I didn't. I think we sat... Did we not do a watch party and watch it all together last year? Should we do a... We'll do a watch party this year if I'm free, if I'm available. If I'm available, we'll do a Minecraft watch party, Minecraft live watch party on the Discord. And I will make a video afterwards if I feel like it. I think, wasn't, um... I can't remember, it was... 2021 Caves and Cliffs Part 2, or something. I can't remember. Memory escapes me. You know what, this is all working very well now. Let's have a look at our, uh, delivered cargo graph. Okay, it's a bit difficult to see, folks, all right? It's a little bit difficult to see. But there has been a change, okay? Now, if I draw a straight line through this... Right, there's a straight line. And you can see that, well... We dipped a little bit here but we're only just above it here and here and here but then we start to get a lot more space under that line there is definitely an upwards trend okay there is an upwards trend here do I have to let go of shift first hang on shift How do I draw a straight line with shift? Hold shift, just click. Okay. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Let's try it one last time. Hold shift. Oh, I'm dragging? It just seems to be bugged out. I don't know. Never mind. In any case, it's going up. We're delivering a lot more cargo, eh? I can't remember. I think it was my reaction to Caves and Cliffs Part 2. I do. I really do think so. Uh, okay, folks. A couple of important things before we carry on. Uh, first off is that if you are playing along, I need your uh, Year 2000 game saves. That's the next time we'll be having a look at your game saves. All right? Year 2000. Uh, if you've only just started or if you're not at the Year 2000 yet, don't worry. 
uh, you can still play along and catch up. Okay, there is masterhellish.net forward slash S10. That's how you play this series. Follow those instructions. The people who have sometimes missed those bits are ones the people that have problems. Um, it takes you about 13 and a half minutes per year. So it could it takes a good number of hours gameplay. And if you don't pause, you can catch up relatively quickly though. Um, Keep in mind that this is a massive network, and small increases in that graph represents a lot of cargo. You are very correct there. That's a big difference we've made. Uh, Game Breaker, hey, howdy. Uh, so that's number one thing. If you're playing along, uh, sorry, if you're not playing along, you can play along. And if you are playing along, I need your year 2000 game saves, okay? Uh, the next thing is, is that um, yesterday I did a Minecraft lunchtime live stream where I went to the end and I attempted to get to the end islands without defeating the Ender Dragon. Uh, part two of that is tomorrow, tomorrow lunchtime. So if you either like Minecraft or you like my content or might be curious to see what's going on and you want to watch at lunchtime tomorrow, then uh, check that out. It's uh, scheduled on YouTube and scheduled in the Discord. Oh, and we'll be announcing the winners of the giveaways next open TTD live stream next week. Okay, so the month of the giveaways, and it's a big one. We're giving away nearly a hundred pounds worth of Steam vouchers. It's crazy. When do they need to be submitted by? Year two thousand game saves need to be submitted before I get to the year two thousand. And then I meet, might give you an extra couple of days. So I don't know exactly, but that is go, it, that is the next year. If we get close to that, I'll try and give you all a date. I'll post it on social media and stuff. Remember, the best thing to do is follow me on dis, uh, follow the announcements channel on Discord because you get pretty much everything from there. Okay, what we've got piling up here? Tons of stainless steel. Where's that going? Oh, it's been brought across here, I think. Yes, it is. Okay, so we need another stainless steel boat. Let's do three. There we go. Ah, maybe lots of time. We'll see. Okay. Your alarm clock sounds... Oh, my goodness. You got on a 5.15 alarm clock. I was actually up at uh, half past five this morning. Was it half past five? Yeah, half past five. Uh, my son got me up at half past five and um, I actually did a little bit of game prep ready for tomorrow's live stream. So we've got a VT for tomorrow's live stream. Uh, you're in, you're in uh, 1980, okay. So uh, you need to get from uh, 1980, 1980, to the year 2000, which is 20 years, 20 years times by about 13 and a half minutes is 270 minutes divided by 60 minutes in an hour is four and a half hours of gameplay. You're about four and a half hours of gameplay away from submitting your save if you don't pause. Bearing in mind you are allowed to pause. Oh, you sabers in 1995. Well, I'm looking forward to all these game saves. Make sure you do send them to me because uh, I, I do try and look at them all. Uh, I think last time I did actually manage to look at all of them. And speaking of looking at all of them, look at all of this beautiful landscape and transport brilliance that we've got going on. Uh, we've got Wiz's Slag that we visited today. Um, we haven't been over to Explodedville in a while because... Well, it's just generally working. In fact, we didn't even go to Hellish City today. Uh, if we have a look at the at the goals for Hellish City. Oh, wow. We've done it. We've done it. We've managed to get Hellish City growing again. So all the work that we've done over the last three episodes have been all about building up the income of vehicles to Hellish City. And we're at 65% storage. Uh, we deliver. We didn't deliver enough last month, but we've grown 10 months in a row now. Hellish City's doing okay. Um, passengers is fine. Food, mail, coal, they're all good. Glass is good. Cast iron, not perfect, but very good. Sodium hydroxide's a little low. Electrical parts is brilliant, and vehicles is going well. Right. 
now we're at the stage where I think we need to see how far we can put we can push hellish city, eh? <laughs> what sleep? You, you you guys sleep? <laughs> um yeah, I I was I was up at half past 5. Me and my son had an hour at the computer. Um then I put him down to sleep and I had another hour of trying to sort my internet out. Oh, internet update folks for those of you who have been following closely recently my internet has been having outages and problems i installed a new router this morning and it hasn't gone wrong since yet so fingers crossed we've actually resolved um the issues there uh so yes i, di I did um so yeah my day was a bit weird so it's like half past five i got up and i did some work on my computer half past six i put the child down uh wrapped him up in a, a nice cozy uh hoodie uh, so he could have a nap and i did some network engineering from half past seven i started my day job and worked on that until i stopped at 12 o'clock and i went and did the weekly food shop for the family uh my ex slightly extended lunch that i have on a thursday to allow me to do that food shop ended at half past one where I carried on working again and I finished work at half past five. Half past five I joined the family for an evening meal. I uh, bathed my son, did his milk bottle, said goodnight to my daughter and came to start the live stream. So Thursdays are pretty pretty heavy days eh? <laughs> anyway um, I think that's a good time to call it there uh it's like i said it's been a long day and it's been a good day though it's been a good stream you guys have been fantastic let's uh end that giveaway uh and the giveaway winner is fantastic out of space congratulations the game will be emailed to you and uh we will be doing the giveaways the monthly giveaways next month so that's for nimby little orphans 10 pounds steam voucher 25 pounds steam voucher 25 pounds steam voucher and the 25 pounds steam voucher do not miss next week and if you are interested in my content or minecraft in any way do not miss tomorrow lunchtime's live stream where i'm going to be attempting to get into an end city and get some good stuff for the first time on the series server so there we go folks take care thanks for watching everybody and uh, until I see you next time, folks, goodbye, good evening, good night.